Hello everyone, my name's Fran and I'm a film and TV makeup artist. After previously doing a video for you for The Perfect Smoky Eye, I have been asked to do a second video and for this I'm going to do the Christmas look, seeing as it is December. Now I've already prepped my skin for today using my favourite cleansing products, which is Dr. Hauschka. I use this one, which is the cleansing milk, and then I use this one, which is the clarifying toner. And then after I've sprayed that all over my face, I go over it with the Melissa Day Cream, which is absolutely amazing. It's all organic and it's brilliant for your skin. It's very good if you've got sensitive skin or if you're prone to breakouts. It's amazing. I love using it at night time as well. I wake up and feel super hydrated, especially in the cold. After cleansing and toning my skin, I followed it with my base, and it's my favourite, favourite base in the world at the moment, and this is this one. It's Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I absolutely love it. It goes on really smoothly, and it makes your skin look fresh and glowing. I've then carried on with the Precision Concealer, which is also Giorgio Armani. You just literally need a tiny bit. It comes with a small brush. Dab underneath your eyes, blend in with your finger on any blemishes you get and just blend it in with your finger. I've then finished this with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. Now I love this, it's quite heavy to use a base, a concealer and the powder, but just very, very lightly over areas that you think you're a bit shiny, it's brilliant. I've also already done the contouring on my face and for this I've used my Laura Mercier bronzer here. It's my favourite bronzer. As you can see, it's nearly run out, but it's amazing. You just need a tiny bit, and if you apply it down the contour lines of your cheek here and here, and you can go just around your jawline here and here, just to give you a slightly more defined look. Now today, the look we're going to do is a slightly softer eye makeup and a red lip. Obviously Christmas, red lip is pretty much a staple. I'm going to use my eye base, which is painterly, which comes in a MAC paint pot. It's a small glass pot, and you apply this on the base of your eyelids before you put your eyeshadow on. It stops them from creasing and makes them last a little bit longer. So with my MAC 217 brush, again, one of my favourite brushes, I'm going to just apply painterly all over my eyelid. Just blending in. You can go up to the brow bone if you want to, and you can also take a little bit underneath the eye. It's quite a neutral skin tone colour, so don't worry about making it too messy, as it tends to blend. Like so. The next thing I'm going to use is a MAC eyeshadow here named Daisy Chain. Now I believe this was a limited edition eyeshadow, so the equivalent of this is Shroom, which is also a MAC eyeshadow. It's just a very neutral base colour. I'm just going to get some onto my 217 brush. And again, just go all over my eyelid with this. Not too high, pretty much up to the socket line. Blending just all around. As you can see, I'm quite soft with my brush. I don't go too crazy. And blend this all over the eye. Like so. So it's just a neutral base colour. The next colour I'm going to use is again another MAC eyeshadow called Quarry. It's just like this colour. It's my favourite contour colour to go in my socket line of my eye. So we are keeping this look quite neutral. It's all about the red lips and the flicky liner. So I'm going to very softly just go in my socket line here, like so. Just blending it into the socket line gently. And a tiny bit extra on the corner. So here, just in the socket line and a little bit more on the corner here. Now after you finish blending quarry into your socket line, like so, on both sides, I'm then going to take one of my favourite pencils, and that's MAC Prunella Pencil, if you can see there. It's nice because it's a slight plummy shade, so it's not brown, it's not black, it's something a little bit different. I'm just going to draw a tiny line of this underneath my eye, ready to blend. Very gently, just underneath the eye. Like so. And then I'm going to get my other favourite brush. And that's my MAC 219 brush, which looks like this. It's a small, flat kind of brush. And I'm going to blend the pencil underneath my eye with this. So just like so. 
just to soften it. So you finish like that. The next step for our Christmas eye is the eyeliner. For this I'm going to use MAC Rapid Black Penultimate Liner. I love this because it's basically like a felt tip pen. So you literally just draw the line straight across your eye and then follow the underneath line of your eye to get the flick. I'm going to do this on both sides. If you'd like, you can pull the eye slightly taut to make it tighter to draw the line across or you can just leave it natural and go on whatever fits your needs. Now I tend to start with the corner flick and then I'll go from the inside out. So I do this first. So I follow my underneath waterline up into the flick and then I'll join it up. You can see I've pretty much drawn the line right across the top of my eyelid and then gone into that flick on the corner there. I've left a little bit at the bottom here which I'm just going to draw a slight bit underneath to blend in with that pencil we did earlier. So I've done now done both sides of my eyeliner. It helps if I close so you can see. Just follow the line and follow your underneath waterline to get that flick on the corner there. Go a little bit underneath your eye. I'm now going to do my mascara. For this I love MAC again, Zoom Lash. It's one of my favourite mascaras because I love thick, clumpy lashes. Some people don't. Some people love very defined lashes, which there are also loads of mascaras for. You just have to find what suits you. And take your time on your mascara. Not enough people take time on their lashes. It's so important. I'm just going to go up. And make sure you also coat the top of your lashes too. So comb down and then comb up. Now I've done my mascara on both sides. Top and bottom lashes. It just defines them and it makes your eyes stand out so much more. I'm just quickly going to use a tiny bit of Reflex Antique Gold. Which is a MAC glitter which is made so you can mix with lip glosses, you can mix with nail varnish. You aren't really supposed to use it near your eye area, so please be careful. But I do. I'm just going to take one of my fingers and I'm just gently going to dab just onto my eyelid here just to get a bit of Christmas glitter in there somewhere. Just to get a bit of sparkle into your eyes. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Again, take your finger and very lightly dab. If you do feel like you've got too much, hold a tissue underneath your eye. So if you just hold a tissue here and then dab, just so it stops it falling onto your cheek too much. So very gently blend that all in there. And I'm going to get another 217 brush. And I'm going to get my daisy chain eyeshadow again. Again, the equivalent is shroom. And I'm going to do a slight highlight just on my brow bone up here. Just very, very softly, just to make that area pop tiny bit more. There we go, that's pretty much how eyes finished. We do have to do our eyebrows which I'm going to do next. For this I'm just going to use Brunette which is a V-Lux brow liner, another one from MAC. I just like to use the end which is the brow brush so you can just use any brow brush. And I just like to brush up my eyebrows gently just to get the shape here. And just to make sure all the hairs are going the right way. Super important. Then I'm going to take my 266 MAC Angle Brush. I'm going to wet it slightly just to get a little bit more definition into my brows. And I'm going to use Embark, which is a dark brown MAC eyeshadow. Now for this, just use the colour that kind of matches your hair but is slightly lighter. Brows aren't meant to be too dark. If they're too dark, it just looks silly and it looks like you've got giant slugs on your face. So just very gently get your MAC brow brush and just fill in ever so slightly your brows here and follow the natural line. Now, now we've done our brows, you can leave your look just like this. And you can put a gloss on and a really soft blush. But I'm going to put a red lip on because it's Christmas. For my lips, I'm going to use two simple products. And that is Cherry Lip Pencil, which is a MAC Red. 
and I'm going to use my Giorgio Armani Lip Maestro, which is incredible. It's really long lasting and really good if you ever get lipstick that goes into the lines around your lips or it goes a bit blah. This one tends to last forever and it's I've got it in shade 400, which is like a Hollywood kind of red, which is what we like. With our MAC Lip Pencil, we put this on, just follow the edge of your lip line. I've put on my MAC Prep and Prime Lip, which also helps make the lipstick last a bit longer. Now I'm going to start with my MAC Cherry Red Pencil. I'm going to follow my lip line. Very gently. You don't want to go on too hard with this because it does come out quite bright. With your lovely line lips, I'm going to go on with my red lip colour. So as you can see, now I feel the red in all over my lips. This takes about two seconds to dry just to fit onto your lip perfectly. Another great red is Ruby Woo, which is a MAC red. This is beautiful, it's very, very matte, so it's great for staying on your lips again. The only thing, it's quite drying, so for winter it's probably not the best shade. A brilliant one as well is Russian Red, this is also by MAC, and this is beautiful. It glides onto your lips, it's a slightly more of an orangey red, but again, it's matte and it lasts longer. But this is just my personal favourite. After we've done the lips, we're then going to finish with a slight bit of blush. My favourite blusher is, again, Giorgio Armani. And it's this one, and it's number 10. It's a very, very soft pink. I'm going to take one of my MAC brushes, my favourite one, my white contour brush. It's a 168 brush. So I'm going to take that, gently put it in the blusher, which is here. And ever so softly, just go onto your cheeks, very, very lightly here. Remember, we've already done our contour, so we've already got the definition. This is just to add colour. So that's it. Now we have our finished look. The red lips, the liner, the eyeshadow and the brows and the skin and everything. Good luck with trying it out. Practice makes perfect. And please send me all your pictures, comments. If you have any questions, ask me. I'm on Twitter, at Fran Makeup, and I'm on Instagram. So just let me know. I'd love to see all your practices. I'm off to make my Christmas pudding now. So have a great day. Happy Christmas and happy 2014. Bye, guys.